Hello, hello everybody! I'm bringing you my July TBR. Yes, I almost forgot what month it is. Yeah, yeah. Feels like we're still in June, and yet I'm already thinking forward to August, so <laughs> here I am ready to just skip over July, even though I'm doing Camp NaNoWriMo. Who knows? Who knows? All right, so I'm, I'm making this month's TBR much smaller because last month's TBR was enormous and I only got through half of it. So half of it is rolling over into this month. That's why I only picked a few new books. Right? Yeah. The air just turned on, damn it. <laughs> okay, <got> it. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about these books because I'm horrible at summarizing books, okay? Like, just, just, yeah, trust me on this, okay? So, you'll be able to look at my Goodreads and my <laughs> July to be read shelf will be there with all the books listed, okay? So, the first one, which I've already started reading, is We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. I started reading this last year. Only got a little ways in before, I don't know, I lost all will to read for like half a year until like March of this year. Yeah, bad times. But I picked it back up. I'm like already halfway through. I was already halfway through before I realized I didn't film this TBR, so it's good though so far. So yes, it's, it's a co new college age YA kind of a literary style, women loving women, queer fiction, I don't know how to summarize it, because I'm, I'm horrible, alright, this is what Goodreads is for, okay, please, I'm, mm, mm, mm. okay, the next one, <laughs> Every Heart a Doorway by Shonda McGuire, I've been wanting to read this series for a long time because they are novellas, so they're nice and short, and it's just, yes, up my alley, especially because the concept of like these kids who have gone to magical worlds and then having to come back to our real world and just like adjust or like wait to go back to the magical world like that just yes yes please I I am interested I I am interested yes yes <laughs> The next one is People Like Us by, I don't know the author, uh, Dana Mele? 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 Why are library covers have to be so shiny? So, this is like a kind of mystery thrillerish YA, and I believe it has some queer elements to it. I honestly don't know. It, it, I feel like there's like people are blackmailing each other there's dead teenagers like there always are like just stuff like that but you know some queer elements like thriller mystery i'm there i'm there i'm just i'm there for it right right yeah yeah uh the next one is starfish by akemi don bowman and i've been meaning to read this one forever finally picked it up. Her second book is coming out later this year, maybe in just a couple months. So I really wanted to get this read before her second book came out. This one, you know what? I couldn't tell you what this one is about. I just wanted to pick it up. Um, you know, a girl is half Japanese and I believe it's about coming to terms with your heritage and it's just I see something about an art school and overcoming your anxiety and fear and the things that hold you back from doing what you love and it's just I don't know story about your identity and family and embracing yourself I'm here for it a lot of people have said great things about it so I've been reading really great 
contemporary stories recently, I hope this is another one. Like, yes, yes, please. More great contemporary stories. Yes. Uh, the next one is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Yes, yes. I love this cover, even with the, the shiny library on it. It's just, I don't know if anyone's ever actually like looked at the images that are in it. <laughs> a bird, a house, a hand with a dagger, gates with a tree, like a coffee mug in a city, a comb, a car, a cage, a castle. Like it's just, it's like going around in a circle. I just, I just think it's very interesting. So this one, I believe if I'm not mistaken, is similar to Night Film by, by Marissa Hassel, if I'm not mistaken. It, the concepts sound similar, even though both books are marketed very differently, you know? <laughs> so this one, like her, the main character, her grandmother wrote these books about the Hazelwood and her grandmother is taken away and so she has to go like into the Hazelwood where her grandmother's stories are set. So it's basically finding out that the stories are real and it's just, I don't know, it's very like fantasy, but also kind of like that magical realism aspect that I love where you don't know what's real. That, like that Alice in Wonderland feel that you just, I just love, I just love. Yeah, yeah. So those are my five new ones for this month. Um, another new one that came in at the end of last month for Pride Month was Let's Talk About Love by... Claire Kahn and this one I was really excited to read but I still had more time on it so I'm just rolling it over into this month because I'm still excited to read an asexual black girl who I believe is bi-romantic, pan-romantic, something like that. I don't know. Cute love story, contemporary, I'm here for it. I just, I, I can't wait to read it. I can't wait. Let's see, the other rollovers are, um, yes, All Out, the historical queer fiction anthology. I still want to read that. I got this for Pride Month. It's rolling over into July, okay? Like, I'm still gonna read it. It's it's coming with me. <laughs> I have just just a just a few more that were for Pride Month that I didn't quite get to, so they're again, they're coming with me. Uh Noteworthy by Riley Redgate, which is kind of reminds me of just a I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. It's, it, it's like acapella in, I, I feel like it's a college setting, but at least maybe like a boarding school and then deals with like gender identity, a, a girl dressing up as a guy to, to join the quartet and falling in love with a, a guy, but also with a girl. So it, it just, it's got a lot of queer elements that I'm very interested in and it just, yeah, so it's, I still want to read it, so it's still coming with me. <laughs> Autobiography by Christina Lauren. So, um, boys love my boys. One, like, especially because they're, they're writers in a camp trying to write books. I was like, oh, okay, yes. And one of at least one of them is Mormon, like, okay, yes, I'm, I'm here for the cute, fluffy, even a little bit angsty, contemporary queer fiction. I'm here for it all, all right? I think this is one of the few that's just, like, straight up, like, male male, I think. Like, that's okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> for once, like, there's, there's, like, some differences in this, like, allotment of queer fiction, you know? You know. One more rolling over from... Pride Month is The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed. And this just has, this isn't like specifically about being queer, but it has a lot of queer and diverse characters that I was very interested in reading about. So it's just a group of outcasts and mostly girls kind of rebel against the boys in their school. And just, it, it just, it becomes a movement basically in their school against sexual assault, against rape. And I I don't know, it's just, it sounds, sounds good, sounds up my alley. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. I can't wait to read it. 
these, this is still an enormous pile of books. I don't know why I continue to do this to myself, but uh, one of these days <laughs> I'm going to get through these books. Okay, so enough, I lied, there was one more rolling over from Pride Month, and that is The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza by Sean David Hutchison. This one is like a magical realism, like a, like a light contemporary fantasy where strange stuff is happening in like a contemporary setting. It just, it seems so interesting. A boy disappearing and getting sucked up into the clouds and people getting shot and just like unbelievable things happening and people trying to figure out the reasoning behind that. But girls love girls so I, yeah, I'm there for it. I'm here for some magical realism if that's the case. Just yes, 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 I'm here for it. And then one that I had just been reading in June anyway was Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. Didn't really have anything to do with Pride Month, although I read the short story that was in Three Sides of a Heart. And I was kind of hoping that this book would have some queer elements. I'm not that far into it though, so I don't know if it does. I just picked it up on the off chance that since the short story related to it had some some queer ladies that this one might also have some queer characters so I don't know if it does. If it doesn't I will be disappointed but that's okay like historical fiction with zombies that's that's good that's good. Another one of mine that I just happened to have to buy because I wanted to read it for Pride Month but I couldn't find it anywhere it was even like sold out on Amazon but eventually I got a copy and I was like okay maybe I'll add it to my July TBR even though my July TBR is now outrageous and that's Running with Lions by Julian Winters yes so I, I just keep hoping that this may be at least a little bit like The Foxhole Court because that was one of my favorite books back in 2013 it got me back into reading and it's not perfect but I, I do love that series it's just it's very dark and the characters are messy and messed up and so I was like I want this but you know if, if this was at all like a little bit lighter and just like a nice sports with team relationships and friendships and it, it, se it seems like it's a little bit of a used to be friends now enemies to kind of friends again to lovers and I'm just like all right I'm he I'm here for that trope a new twist on that trope right yes guys who used to be friends who are now enemies learning to be friends again going growing into something more right that just sounds with team elements and just sports I don't really love sports but if it's done well I really really enjoy it so I'm just I'm really looking forward to this I hope I can get to it but um at, you know you know this the the this the the what 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 what's happening <laughs> this is this is this is not a problem it's 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 not a problem. I, I swear. I don't I don't have a problem. What are you talking about? Do, I think some of these are probably going to roll over in August, but uh I don't know. I don't know. Does anybody ever uh overshoot in your uh TBR estimations? Like sure, I can just read all those books and I'm like No, you can't. But still, I want to try. So, <laughs> so anyway, <sighs> so anyway, <laughs> this is my TBR for July, and <laughs> maybe rolling over in August. Who knows? It's just we'll see what happens in my reading vlogs. How far I get. I'm already reading one, almost done with one, so that's progress, right? And I'm taking it easy during camp, so maybe that means more reading time. I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. All right, you guys. <laughs> that's it. Books everywhere. Books falling down. All right. <sighs> if you guys have read any of the books 
down below. Let me know what you think of them. And also let me know what you guys are reading for your own TBRs or if you already have a TBR video up, let me know so I can go watch it and take a look. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>